I believe in getting to know something for yourself instead of taking third party or secondhand information and running with it. So I sat and I listened to this conversation. It wasn't an interview. It was really a conversation between Jeezy and Nia Long. And, you know, I've seen some of the commentary from some of our sisters. Nia Long has been called all kind of names. <laughs> Jeezy has been called all kind of names. And all I can see is women speaking through and speaking out of their pain bodies and their experiences with black men. And they have a right to that. They have a right to express and get off their chest, get off their heart, get off their soul. The negative outcomes and experiences that they have had due to the behavior, the choices and decisions that black men make that are often, more often than not, based in selfishness, recklessness, and immaturity. But what I'm what I'm hearing as I'm listening to Jeezy, I'm hearing somebody really try to grow up, you know? Um, and of course this is PR. Let's not let's not act like these aren't actors. Act like these aren't people who are well trained from Hollywood how to put forth a face, put forth a narrative, put forth a perspective um in their favor. But I loved I loved the energy between them and the intimacy between them. Too often in our race is intimacy only relegated to the bedroom. So when you see an intimate moment between a black man and a black woman that's just strictly based in conversation and vulnerability and being honest about your shortcomings, places where you could have done better, the reasons behind, the, the choices that you made, the experiences that shaped and formulated you to make the choices and decisions that you've made, whether they be good, bad, right, wrong, and different. That there's something beautiful about that. Um, I completely understand, you know, what Jeezy was saying when he said that sometimes when we at our lowest we need our sisters, just like y'all need y'all brothers. And I get that. He's not wrong. He's not wrong in saying that. But where he is wrong is the flaunting of his Asian woman in the black woman's face and then when the Asian woman reared her non-submissive head and showed him that he wasn't safe with her and that that wasn't a good relationship for him the first thing he wanted to do was run back to the black woman to get her to heal him and once he's healed who knows he probably gonna run right back out to another preference he gonna use the black woman to restore himself and then run right back off to someone else and I I don't fault black women for being sick of that shit we have a right to be sick and tired of both being sick and tired because of the actions of black men, their arrested development, their refusal to grow. So I understand where a lot of the sisters are coming from in their commentary and their, their reactions to this interview um, and, and their defense of Nia because we love Nia. Nia is one of our national treasures for real. Um, and I do mean national treasure, not just black treasure. She is a beautiful soul, a talented actress. And, you know, overall, I see a great person in her. But I just wanted to share with you guys, go and watch the conversation for yourself and formulate your own opinion and, and, and your own reaction to the content. Don't go based off what you hear, even what you hear from me. Go see it for yourself and let's have a conversation. Did the rest of y'all like it? Have you seen it already? Let me know how you feel.